everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and you ask me quite often where I get the inspiration to work on my dolls honestly everywhere I am thinking about it while I'm scrolling through Instagram and Facebook I'm thinking about new dolls while I'm I know, just walking on the streets while looking at all kinds of publicity and other visual things series on netflix films everything just everything is an inspiration for me and sometimes i for example go shopping for milk and some groceries and i end up with a doll in my hands and today's case is approximately this situation when i just went for some basic shoppings and after a while i was staying next to you know, in the doll department looking at them and thinking oh my god this doll can be an ideal nikki tutorials doll and of course i bought this doll and right now we're sitting here together in my studio with this future nikki tutorials doll and this is such a curvy fashionista Barbie and I don't know why but in her face I see 100% the potential to become an ideal Nikki and I also thought it might be a really good idea to make such a makeover on my channel because what I'm doing here is actually approximately the same what Nikki is doing on her channel but in a doll size on her channel, Nikki is taking a face, her own face or a face of a person who is coming to her studio and using the power of makeup, turning this person, herself or someone else into a better version of yourself. And this is approximately what I'm trying to do here every week Friday. I'm taking a doll, maybe a pretty doll, maybe less pretty doll, maybe an ugly doll, maybe an extremely pretty doll and giving it some another face, a better face, or at least I hope a better face, but it's all of course a matter of taste. Yeah, doesn't matter. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to take this doll and we're going to turn her into Nikki tutorials. Let's go. And this is, by the way, the first time I'm working on Barbie for Shanista doll. So it will also be some kind of a new experience for me. I'm, of course, not a fan of Barbie proportions and especially of her tiny feet. But I think I like this curvy body type and also think it looks more healthy than skinny Barbies. It's just a pity that there is no joints in her knees and elbows and that this doll cannot really pose for pictures. She has a very pretty hair color, but sorry Barbie, we are going for blonde today. I use my hair dryer like always to make the head soft to be able to take it off without making any damage to her neck. And then with my tweezers, I'm pulling the rest of the hair from the inside of her head. The next step is removing her original makeup with pure acetone. And I really think her face is quite cute. The whole fashionista's line looks much better than the regular Barbie dolls. I like the diversity, I like the face mold, so I really think it's a nice collection. Let's prepare her body for blushing already now. And for this I sand it like always to remove the glossy top from it, then I clean the body with an acetone free nail polish remover and here it's very important to use an acetone free one, because acetone will melt such a plastic body. And then I seal both the hat and the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. When the sealant is completely dry and it takes about 30-40 minutes per layer, I'm ready to sketch her new face. And here I will need, of course, a whole bunch of reference pictures that I've got mainly from Nikki's Instagram account and also from search on the internet. And of course we will not be able to make an identical copy of the person, because the face mold of this doll is still different. You see it's less round, the nose shape is different, but let's try to draw the most significant features of our today's model. As the main reference pictures I will take these three, because I really like how Nikki looks with red lips and some golden bronze eyes. 
and I will also need the picture where half of Nikki's face is natural and another half has full glam makeup on. And I start like always with the eyes. Nikki has quite small eyes and also very recognizable eyelids. It's almost a monolith and these two things she has very professionally correct with makeup. But in the beginning I start with her natural smaller eye shape and you see I place the eye crease very low, almost at the eyelash level. The eyebrows are immediately sketch in their makeup version. Anyway, the natural shape will be completely hidden under the darker brow products. And after sketching the face, I spray it with a layer of Mr. Super Clear. You know, Nikki is a queen of contouring and highlighting, so today I can let myself go. And I start with a very light amber color, going all the time deeper and deeper. And contouring is a long process, so I can start answering your questions that you've left in the comments under my videos. And here's the first question. Have you ever started a repaint and then erased it and start over, because you didn't like the result? Yeah, I really had it a couple of times, but it was more probably for some technical reasons. Because blushing or contouring got some spots, for example, because of wrong sealing. Or one time I got cracks all around the face because my regular sealant was temporarily out of stock. And I tried another one from the same brand, so when it cracked completely. So yeah, it happened, but it's not really for some aesthetic reasons, but rather because of some technical issues. And the next question I get all the time already for years. Have you ever tried to repaint the boy doll? Yes, I did it once in February after getting lots of requests in the comments. And you know what? That video got very low views and the doll wasn't sold for 4 months. So it seems like everyone is asking for it, but no one really wants to watch and to have it. And besides this a little bit maybe such a practical position, I don't really get so many ideas for male makeovers. Who is he gonna be? I don't really know what kind of boy I would like to make. Maybe you have some ideas. What kind of male doll transformation would you love to see? Please tell me here in the comment below. And let's take the last question for today probably. I was wondering if you have stopped listing your Friday repaints on Etsy. The last week I've gone to look and the dolls aren't there. No, I haven't stopped selling my dolls via Etsy, but they get sold really quickly. Like in 2 hours maximum, sometimes in 10 or 20 minutes. So you can see all my dolls under the sold items in my Etsy store. And I don't know, maybe I should try to sell a doll via eBay, where people can place their beads, then more people will get a chance to buy a doll, not just the first one. What do you think? So the contouring is done and before I start highlighting I still want to add main colors to her eyes with my Faber Castell Abric Durer watercolor pencils. I draw the lip contour with a brownish pencil and then I give her a bright red lipstick.
Now let's highlight the high spots of her face and for this I will use a light pencil first, blend it good and then I apply a layer of light pastels on top. And this step I need to repeat 2 or 3 times and between the layers I spray the face with the sealant. I keep working on the doll's lips for a while because Nikki's lips are very full and I want to give some similar bigger lips to my doll as well. Then I start working on her eye makeup and first I make darker the outer corners of her eyes. And then I also kind of draw a new crease line above the existing one using dark brown pastels. After two layers of dark pastels, I start to add highlights and colorful accents.
Now I'm going to add golden pencil to the highlighted area of the eyelids. And of course, Nikki would never forgive me if I add no highlighter to the glow mama's face. And for this, I will use golden pastels from the brand Pan Pastel. I use a cleaning gum from Faber Castell to remove the excess of golden pigments. And then I add some extra black pastels to the outer corners to make the eyes huge and very glamorous looking. Now I work some extra on the irises and the waterline of her eyes. And then I think I still want to add a touch of a very pretty bronzer. With a very sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes. And then with white acrylic paint, I add the brightest highlights to her eyes. Now her face is almost ready and let's move to her body. First I'm blushing it with soft pastels to be sure it will match the face color. I seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then when all the layers of sealant become dry, I will start working on the most challenging part of the makeover, the tattoos. I really want to give this doll the same tattoos like Nikki has, but of course it's not that easy to find pictures of all of them on the internet to be able to copy them on this doll, because as I see Nikki adds all the time more new pictures to her skin and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to miss some of them. But anyway, I've made a serious detective research trying to find them all, so let's do our best. And I start with the phrase don't waste your life hiding on the lower arm. And it's of course pretty difficult to draw such a tiny tattoos. I really need to make my pencils more sharp every two minutes.
And then I moved to never give up on another arm. Then dream on another side of the same arm. Then the glow baby tattoo next to her fingers. I feel like a real tattoo artist right now. And do you like tattoos guys by the way? I like them kind on other people, but I can absolutely not imagine having one myself. I just don't like permanent things because my tastes and priorities are changing all the time and I've never really seen a picture I would love to see on my skin forever. So yeah, just not my thing probably, but I like it on other people, it can look really pretty. On the back of her arm I draw a tiny burger and then I move to the most difficult tattoo. It's such a composition of four animals, probably the totem animals or something like this. And it all looks like something really difficult to copy, but it also seems like I have no choice anymore. So let's just try to do it. And it looks really good afterwards. I really expected them to look worse, because the size of the doll arm is way too small for these detailed and realistic tattoos. Then I put such a pretty camera tattoo on her upper arm, and even my camera has difficulties with focusing on such small details.
Then I draw a world map tattoo, a heartbeat line, a rose, and there are also a couple of tattoos that I could find absolutely nowhere shown more detailed. Just on this one picture, I see a big grey tattoo with a pink heart on one arm and some colorful tattoo on her other arm. So I've decided to add there two sticker tattoos, like we did it in my Rocky repaint some weeks ago. I just need to find two of them that will match a little bit the color of those tattoos on Nikki's pictures. These are water stickers, made especially for nail design, but they work just perfectly like tattoos for dolls. I seal the body to protect the tattoos with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I also sign my doll. And then I'm making a wig for her using synthetic blonde hair. Now I put the hat and the body back together using my hair dryer again and then I need to attach false lashes and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And then we can start making her outfit. I still want to trim her lashes a little bit, this doll face is way smaller than the Monster High dolls, so the lashes look a little bit too long. I don't have a pattern to make clothes for curvy Barbies, so I will rip up the seams of her original dress to use it as a pattern to make our Nikki's top. And as an inspiration I took an outfit from this picture. So I'm going to make a long black top with silk see-through sleeves and black skinny pants.
and here is our Nikki. By the way, I completely forgot to ask you if you like watching beauty bloggers and who is your favorite one. I'm really curious to know, because next to Nikki, I almost always watch Tati. Her videos are very relaxing and Nikki I love for her creativity and for finding all the time new and new ideas for her challenges and some crazy experiments. So please share your thoughts about your favorite beauty bloggers and also of course don't forget to tell me what you think about this makeover. And of course, please support my dolls with your likes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get new doll makeover videos every week Friday. And I will see you already very soon. Love you guys. Bye.